We gotta do this for the one time. We gotta do it for the one time. And we gotta do it for... For my man's... Kobe! <sighs> Dude, are you stupid? I don't know. Holy crappioli there, ladies and gentlemen. It's been 10 years since Call of Duty Black Ops was released. I feel old now. I feel super old, actually. It's crazy to say that this game has been released 10 years ago, or was released 10 years ago. I'm sorry for my English. What is going on, YouTube? Fox, you're welcome to with a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be playing Call of Duty Black Ops in 2020 so i hope you guys do enjoy let me know down in the comments what your favorite black ops game is and if you guys want me to play any other old school call of duties or any other call of duties in general let me know down in the comments as well and also pick the game of the month for february down in the comments as well i'll be reading all of those and i will be responding to all the comments as well so if you guys do enjoy make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications without further ado Let's go, bros. All right, so I really want y'all to know I've been looking for a game, any of the old Call of Duties, for about three hours or so. There's a guy in that building. And I can't find a game in Team Deathmatch, but I found one in Search and Destroy. I'm a little alarmed by that. Oh, oh, that, oh, wow. That's awesome. Love that. The biggest reason why I haven't come out with a Black Ops 1 video, a World at War video, or any of that, it's pretty much because I can't find games. You would think the Team Deathmatch is like the, the one mode that everyone's in, but I guess not. We got to do this for the one time. We got to do it for the one time. And we got to do it for... For my man's... Kobe! <sighs> That would have been nice if I could have hit that, but as a basketball player and as a basketball fan, like, it's just, it's pretty crazy to think about, honestly. So, Black Ops 1. I'm gonna talk a lot in this game because I don't really know if I'm ever gonna find another one. I mean, I'm gonna try later tonight, and I'm gonna try and find a game that's in Team Deathmatch. You know, Black Ops 1, it was an amazing game at its time. I didn't really like it at the time, and I just got fucking blown up. I'm gonna lose because of this guy. I'm gonna step around with the freaking L9. Dude, can you not hear that? Right here. Dude, can he not hear that? Can he not hear that? Oh my god. Is this guy retarded, dude? Literally after they have a retard. So I didn't really like Black Ops 1 at the time. I kept playing Modern Warfare 2, and actually we kept playing Black Ops 1 as well, me and my friends. We just kept playing all the Call of Duties that were out at the time, so like Modern Warfare 2, uh, Black Ops 1. We were also playing Halo 3 still. It's just, there were so many good games out at the time that we were just like, well, I mean, fuck it. Like, we might as well just you know, keep playing, like, all the games that are out right now. Like, I think about 2010, I think about, like, all the games that were out at the time. Oh, just get absolutely destroyed. That was disgusting. That was fucking disgusting. All right, let's bring it back. But yeah, so I didn't really like Black Ops 1 because of the setting. I wasn't a huge fan of it. I liked the modern setting a lot more. And rightfully so, the Modern Warfare games were huge at this time. But Black Ops 1 had a lot of great stuff in it too. The zombies campaign was amazing. And to this day, I think that the Black Ops 1 campaign is the better campaign out of, you know, Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 1 and things like that. I think that Black Ops 1's campaign is the best campaign in Call of Duty history. Uh, that's my personal opinion, obviously. <laughs> Fuck, I thought I saw C4 there. Oh, he dead. Oh my god, dude. Wow. That was a good play. I saw it, but and I, I should have shot it. I didn't know if he was going to detonate it. I didn't know if he was dead or not. So, yeah. That, that was my bad. <laughs> oh, we're back to this again. Finally found a game of Black Ops 1, and now we're back to this. All right, so we finally made it into a, a, a game. Game of TDM. Thank God. I, I, was really, I was really wondering if we were ever going to find one. Be honest with you guys so black ops 1 like i've said before black ops 1 was a fantastic game i already said this but black ops 1 to me back in the day i didn't really like it like i said before but i respect it i actually really respect it now and i actually thoroughly enjoy it now i wish i had enjoyed it a little bit more back in the day but i was so in love with those modern warfare games that i just wasn't a huge fan of Call of Duty Black Ops, and that's one of the main reasons I didn't play Call of Duty Black Ops 2, is because I liked the Modern Warfare games instead, and I really didn't like the Black Ops series, you know, I, even though I only played Black Ops 1, or Call of Duty Black Ops. I know this entire video, I've said Call of Duty Black Ops 1, I know it's called Call of Duty Black Ops, but just, you know, I, I get, I, you guys gotta understand where I'm coming from, please. This guy right there, I know he saw me, he's about to die. Yep, he's Donzo Bonzo. And we are using the FAMAS, the most infamous 
or infamous weapon of this game. Ha, <laughs> you see what I did there? You guys like my puns? I think my puns are pretty good. Oh man, just get outplayed, bro. I guess you would consider that outplayed? I'm not really sure. I've grown a lot of respect for Black Ops multiplayer. One of the best in the series, and it's my favorite out of all the Black Ops games, to be honest. I know, I know. I'm a little biased, though. I'm a little biased between this and Black Ops 2. I think Black Ops 2 is a great multiplayer. I really, really do. But I just prefer this one, honestly. Alrighty, we're on the original Nuketown. Here we go. We got the G11, and the G11 is one of my favorite assault rifles in this game. Oh, man. Let's see here. It's a guy. No, dude, come on. Okay, that's an assist. What the heck? One of the things that I don't really like about Black Ops 1 is the fact that all the explosion sounds are the same. Literally every single one. That and the shotguns. The shotguns and the explosions all sound the same in this game. Holy shit! So Call of Duty Black Ops had COD points, but they're not the COD points that you're thinking of. They're, they're pretty much like the COD points that everyone remembers as like being able to gamble your points in I think like one in the chamber and in other like party game modes and then I'm pretty sure you could also gamble them in wager matches or maybe it was just wager matches I can't remember let me know down in the comments it's been a while and they're lagging oh that's right there is another reason why I am doing this video it's been 10 years since black ops came out isn't that fucking insane for all of us old heads or boomers as people like to call us cod boomers it's been 10 years since the original black ops came out isn't that nuts dude that's so crazy to think about wow i definitely should have killed him i'm pretty bad yeah another thing that i really liked about the Treyarch games back in the day is that your clan tag could be a different color so i think it was like blue or it was called scion or it's something like that i can't remember yeah i think there was blue scion red yellow orange green pink purple and then did i say red i think i said red pretty much like any color that you wanted and i thought that was really cool it was so small but it was such a distinguished difference between the Infinity Ward games and the Treyarch games. Thought that was a pretty cool touch. They don't got that no more, which, which kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, well, well, I guess we'll use the AK-47 now. Double kill. Oh my God. Okay. I, I don't have dead silence on. They're gonna hear me. A few moments later. Fuck. Dude, are you stupid? I don't know. Let's see, we're gonna use this. And Kobe! Damn it, dude. I gotta get at least one of those. I changed my class because I have, actually have ninja in this class, so. Bye. Had that aim assist. I forget that the match starts automatically. When we're playing this, like, it's there's no countdown or anything like that. There's one guy left. I don't know where he is. There he is. GG's in the chat. Alright, I'm gonna plant bomb. Hopefully my teammate stays alive. Check around back. Watch our back fat. He's sitting in a corner. What the fuck? What are you doing? So my back is like really killing me. I went to a concert this past weekend, went and saw Motionless and White and Beartooth. Yeah, so my back is just completely messed up. We were up uh, near the guardrail, pretty much like up in the front and whatnot. And my entire body is just banged up from that. So like when I just yelled, my entire back just hurt so fucking bad, man. All right, I got bomb. Let's do it. Uh, I wanna, I'm gonna go to A. They're all up there. Holy fuck, man. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for Call of Duty 3, World at War, and Black Ops 1. These three games and Call of Duty 4 are horrendously hard to find games or matches or whatever you want to call it. Like, I can't find matches to save my life. So... I'm sorry that I haven't put out a video in the past three days. I was kind of busy this weekend. But then, I'm also sorry that I haven't done those games for you guys either. I'm also working on the Siege video as well. I'm trying! Let me know what else you guys want to see down in the comments. If you guys want to see another throwback Call of Duty, uh, if you guys want me to look at a particular weapon in Call of Duty, you know, is in like one of the games that I've covered already. There's still a couple of new gen Call of Duties that we have to cover. Black Ops 3 
I got a lot of comments for Advanced Warfare on last gen. Let me know down in the comments. Comment something! And, uh, yeah, I'll try my best to put it out for you guys as soon as possible. Or, if you guys want me to put out a video playing every single Call of Duty in one video, I can do that as well. I think it's pretty crazy how Search and Destroy is more populated than Team Deathmatch. Obviously, Search is a very popular game mode and stuff, but you wouldn't think that it would be more popular than TDM on a last gen Call of Duty. He got up and left the game. <laughs> That's what you get for sitting in a corner there, buddy. We're also using the Galil because the Galil is like one of the best guns in this game. And Kobe, oh, there's two guys over there. No! There's a, I, I, that was a terrible nade. That was a, just an awful nade. <laughs>